Is a doctor smarter than a fifth grader? Eight years of school, four years of high school, three years of college, four years of medical school, three years of residency. I should be a pro and knock these out of the park. Also, we're doing the million dollar question from the actual show. First grade question. I came to America in first grade, so this is gonna be easy. Human beings breathe with their lips, lungs, liver, or kidneys. This is easy. Lungs, final answer B. Which day was the first of the 20th century? Oh no, this is the one I'm bad at. I used to go to a store called 21st Century. It was a discount clothing store. And I used to say, what's gonna happen when we hit the 22nd century? So I think the century is actually 100 years ahead. So the first day of the 20th century had to be the 1900s. B, final answer. No! What? In Russian, this is quite similar because let's say it's 9.15 in Russia, they say it's 15 minutes of the 10th hour. But if that's the same principle, January 1st, 1900 should be the first day of the 20th century. If you mix an equal amount of red paint with yellow paint, what color does it make? God, I hate these questions. I'm basically color illiterate. I'm not colorblind, I'm color illiterate. I'm gonna take this the med school approach. It's not black. Purple doesn't make a lot of sense. Brown doesn't make a lot of sense. I think it's orange C final answer. Yeah! Imagine a clock. Imagining. The big hand is at 12. The little hand's at 7. What time is it? God, I hate these. Because all I'm thinking is it's 7 o'clock, but like, I feel like that's wrong. D, 7 o'clock, final answer. God, if I got that wrong and I didn't know how to tell time, you should be worried. My patient should be worried. The following landmark is located in what country? Yo, that's home, baby. That's the Red Square, Russia. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Which number does the Roman numeral XVI represent? Okay, I'm good at the basic versions of these Roman numerals. 10, five, and six means 16. A, 16, final answer. Boom. Which mineral is responsible for the formation of our bones? Eh, 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 eh. Whoever put oxygen on here was just trying to get someone to mess up and look bad. Final answer, you need calcium for your bones. Interestingly enough, we actually use our bones as a source of calcium when we need it and don't have it. And there's certain conditions that affect certain hormones, like the parathyroid hormone, when imbalanced, can actually lead to an over breakdown of bones, pulling the calcium away from them. Cool story. How many adjectives are in the following sentence? Okay, adjectives, describing words. Sometimes, Bear gets really hungry and drools all over his super crunchy dog food. Sometimes, that's not a describing word. Actually, could that be a describing word? Bear is not an adjective. Gets, not an adjective. Really, not an adjective. Hungry, not an adjective. Drools all over his super, I think super is one, crunchy, two. Remember, I'm an immigrant, so I'm allowed to struggle with this. When I came to America, the class were done like 1-1 one -one meant you were in the good class, 1-2 you were in the mediocre class, 1-3 one you were really struggling. I went to 1-3, 2-3, 3-3, and only in fourth grade did I go to 4-1. So second grade, I'm still struggling. I'm gonna say B, two final answer. Yes, super crunchy. Extra credit, what are the two adjectives? Super and crunchy. It's not? One is crunchy and the second one is hungry. Hunger would be a noun. You got it right. I got it right, end the story. Grammar police, show us what's up in the comment section. The following flag belongs to what nation? Not Germany, not Poland. I'm 94 and a half percent sure it's Spain. A hundred yards would be how many feet? At least it's not meters, cause that would be confusing. Three feet in a yard, a uh, hundred yards, 300 feet. So D, final answer. Okay, good. At least I know how much I can throw. You can throw a hundred yards? Mm -hmm. Which president is this? Oh, this is so stressful. God, if I get it wrong, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Oh man! Lyndon B. Johnson, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Gerald Ford. Okay, Eisenhower, I'm pretty sure wore glasses. This guy looks like a Lyndon B. Johnson, but I don't think it's Lyndon B. Johnson. I'm leaning towards Gerald Ford, also because it's a color image. I'm gonna say D, Gerald Ford, final answer. What, Eisenhower, you wore glasses, bro. Why are you lying? I really thought he was smaller than this. How can you tell his size? <laughs> I don't know. His head, his head size. I judge everyone on their head size. <laughs> what is the capital of Connecticut? God, at least you're not asking me to spell Connecticut because that would be a disaster. I know it's not Danbury because Dan is from Danbury and I know that's definitely not the capital. Look at this guy. God, it could be any of these. I just don't think it's Hartford because it feels like it's Hartford, which means that it's not it. I'm going to say B, New Haven. No, it's Hartford. You knew it? Yeah. 
You couldn't wink? Which one is the one of the Great Lakes? Come on, man. I don't even know that there are Great Lakes. No, actually, I know this. It's at the Great Salt Lake. It's, there's no such thing as the Great Salt Lake. I, I knew that. Just because the choices are easy. There's no such thing as the Great Salt Lake. I mean, as part of the Great Lakes. If you ask me to name the other Great Lakes, I would fail. Oh, Michigan. Oh, Michigan's on. <laughs> There's the biggest Ontario? One. That's right. Now one more. Is that the biggest one? No, the biggest one is the one you had a name. Oh. It's over Wisconsin. That is, none of that helps me. <laughs> Give me the first letter. S. Lake Superior? There you go. Oh, I needed the letter. The doc is in. This okay. man's learned it. What is the fourth planet from the sun? This is terrible. This is terrible. Mars is closer to the sun than Earth. Saturn is not. Saturn is far, it has rings. Mercury is right after the Earth. God, is Earth the fourth planet? Or is Earth the fifth or third planet? Mars. Yes! I don't know, Earth is third? Earth is third. Oh my God, thank God I knew that. I didn't... Was I correct in thinking that Mercury is second? Mercury is first, so it's- oh, Mercury, Mercury, Jupiter? No. Jupiter is two? You think Jupiter is two? I don't know where Jupiter is at all. <laughs> okay. Jupiter is the largest, yeah. Mm -hmm. One yeah. of the gaseous giants, as you well know. That was my nickname. Blood cells are created in our heart, arteries, intestines, or bones. Blood cells go through our body because the heart beats. They travel through little tunnels called arteries. Those arteries sometimes go to our intestines and allow us to poop. And finally, blood is made in our bones, aka our bone marrow. Bruno Mars lives on which layer of Earth? Oh no. Mantle, crust, stratosphere, mesosphere. It's not the crust, that's like the deep, the deep south. The mantle is the hot spot. I don't think that's it. I'm pretty sure the stratosphere is one layer above, which is where like the planes fly. And I think we live on the mesosphere or is it the other way around? Cause I remember like when people used to like make fun of someone they'd be like, oh, you have such a big ego, your head's in the stratosphere. So I'm gonna say D mesosphere final answer. Crust? You guys don't live in the crust. We live on the crust. Which one of these states does not border Texas? Oh man, this is gonna be embarrassing. New Mexico, Louisiana, Arkansas, Colorado. Louisiana has that L thing going on. I feel like it's just, it's kind of like just floating in the water. Colorado, it's cold there. See, I feel like this is a trick question. You would think New Mexico would be the answer, or it would, would not be the answer, but New Mexico is probably like one state apart from it and is the one that is not touching. I'm gonna go Mexico, New Mexico final answer. I knew it was cold in Colorado. What part of the human body contains the smallest bones? The spine has vertebrae, the hands have carpals, the feet have tarsals, and the ears have the stapes. Ears, a final answer. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the United States from which country? I've actually been in the Statue of Liberty in the crown, which I don't think they allow people to do that. I did that in like 1996, 97. It was from France. And I believe the entire thing, is, is it made from copper? Am I making that up? A tamarind is a type of, is it a bird? Is it a shark? Is it a dog? It's a monkey. Okay, it's definitely not a dog. I know all dogs. It could be a shark. It could also be a bird. I know nothing about birds. A monkey, a tamarind. Oh, well, that's a tamarind monkey. I'm thinking of like a copperhead shark for some reason. And I'm thinking like another name for a copperhead is a tamarind. But a tamarind could also be a monkey. But why I've never heard of that monkey is, is very unique because I've heard a lot of different monkeys. Like I've been to a lot of monkey locations. I'm gonna say monkey, D final answer. Yeah! I love monkeys. Here's a picture of me with a monkey. What is the first element on the periodic table? Ooh! I think I know this one though. Hydrogen, helium, carbon, or oxygen? Hydrogen, I think it's found in every like living thing. Hydrogen, A final answer. Yeah! Part of a person's sleep cycle is called the REM cycle. What does REM stand for? Rapid eye movement, random eye manipulation. <laughs> Sounds painful. Ah! Renal entry mandate and a rapid ear malfunction. Ow. So it's actually rapid eye movement. And if anyone ever has seen someone's eyes lift up while they're going through this, the eyes lift up. What are the three states of matter? Solid, liquid, gas, baby. <laughs> What is the smallest prime number? I believe when they say a prime number is anything that is, if you divide it by itself, what is the definition? But I remember like whatever the definition is, it's other than zero and one. That it's only divisible by itself or one. That is not zero or one. So I think three is the final answer. <gasps> Two. 
I guess two is also only divisible by two and one. Oh, I knew the answer and I didn't even read. <laughs> This is why you don't rush, kids! What is the human body's largest organ? Skin, liver, veins, bones. <laughs> Skin, final answer. Huge organ. Huge! What is the hardest mineralized substance in the human body? Definitely not tooth enamel. Keratin, I feel like, is what like crab shells have inside of them. Ah, oh, I'm so stuck between B and C. And they always say, if you don't know the answer, choose B or C. And I'm stuck between B or C. I'm gonna say C, keratin, final answer. Oh, it's tooth enamel? Tooth enamel. What? Tooth enamel's soft. The dentists always say don't brush so hard because you'll damage your enamel. What kind of hard mineralized substance gets destroyed by brushing it a little bit hard? Yo. Doctor. What up, brother? What is the hardest mineralized substance in the human body? Enamel? Why is it enamel? But you told me enamel's soft and I should not brush so hard because I'm destroying my enamel. You can scratch your enamel, of course. Over time, when you scratch and you it has acid erosion, it's a it's a quantitative damage. It's not like one time and it's broken. What about dentin? It's very soft. That's why once you get a cavity past enamel, which is like the skull part of your brain, the dentin is like the brain is soft, it's mushy. All right, stop showing off with your vocabulary. Acadia National Park is located in which US state? I don't know why my gut is saying North Dakota. I don't think that's the right answer. I'm gonna think about it for a second. Acadia. Is it California? Could be California. There's a bear on the California logo of some kind. <sighs> why do I wanna say North Dakota? Is it North or South Dakota? Has anyone heard of this national park, if we're being honest? North Dakota, I'm gonna go with my gut. You're gonna put a million dollars on the line. Yeah, North Dakota. Final answer. What else do you know about North Dakota that would lead you to think this? Not much. I don't even know what goes down in North Dakota. <laughs> What's a hint that you can give me without giving it away? Acadia National Park is on the East Coast. No. Oh, you're gonna say New York? I'm gonna cry. It's New York, isn't it? Let's press that button. Maine. Who would know that? You got the same thing. What? I did terribly. You gotta see. Yeah, but some of the questions were wrong. Oh? Like the century question is clearly wrong. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Nickelodeon medical scenes reactions here. Who knew Medicalodeon? Medicalodeon. Who knew Nickelodeon had medical scenes in it? SpongeBob is quite the doctor, not gonna lie. Check that out and as always, stay happy and healthy. SpongeBob, Squidward, or Mr. Krabby Patty? Who's more medically accurate? Find out here.